it's overwhelming. You know, you're 32 years of service uh, to an organization, and uh, just to be put out the door is uh, unsettling, completely unsettling. Southry says he received a phone call last Wednesday informing him of the board's decision to terminate his position. He says he never received a reason for the dismissal. Southry has Parkinson's disease and thinks his medical condition was a lead factor. I think the, the medical issue is a, is a big concern of theirs. I think they think the medical issue has created uh, a less tolerable Bill Southry, who's going to be vocal, because right? I've never been this vocal ever. Tom Davidson of the Atlantic City Rescue Mission says it's his understanding that any purported medical issues were not a topic of discussion during the board meeting when Bill was terminated. You know, it just came to a point where, from, from a board perspective, we needed to um, evolve our role in, our, in the conversation and what, how people perceive us. And it's like any other organization and how they look at what their message is and how that's getting out into the public. But Southry thinks pressure from the governor's office and other county officials played a role in the board's decision. James Leap is a member of the mission's board of trustees. I can tell you without a doubt the board hasn't even spoken to the politicians about Bill Southry. They in no way have put any pressure on the board to move Mr. Southry out of his position that he was in. We had nothing to do with it. County government, state government had nothing to do with it. This was a decision that was made by an independent board of, uh, of the rescue mission. Leap says he looks forward to working with state agencies and politicians. I would hope that as we move forward that we become a part of the solution, not part of the problem. It is not personal. You know, this is just a policy that we believe that policy, policy should be changed. Atlantic City, Atlantic County cannot continually absorb over half of the state's homeless. Dan Brown, the COO of the Atlantic City Rescue Mission, will take on the responsibility of executive director. He'll fill that role until the board begins the process of determining the new leader of the Atlantic City Rescue Mission. For NJ Today, I'm Lauren Wonko in Atlantic City.